Well, a year ago, three young Australians who once worked at Steve Irwin's Australia Zoo knew nothing about elephants. Then they fell in love with a starving, orphaned baby elephant from Sumatra and saved her from what was likely death. Well, their story and the story of baby elephant Bonner features on Australian Story tonight. Let's take a little look at what to expect. <laughs> It's a baby elephant. <laughs> Have you seen her? She's just adorable. So it's there's just something about her that just people have connected with. I just thought this was an amazing thing to be involved with. And, and I think to see the photos of Bonner starving the way she is, uh, it was just hard to, to say no. It was hard not to, do, not to help. <laughs> When I first started with this, I knew nothing about elephants. I knew nothing. I had no idea that there was only 2,000 Sumatran elephants left in the wild. I just suddenly felt like it was our responsibility to do something. Well, over the course of this issue with Bonner, I've actually been amazed that three very ordinary Australians can work together to save one little animal. Nice portrait of Bonner there. To tell us more about this story is one of those three carers, Murray Munro, joining us from Brisbane. Murray, thanks very much for your time. Uh, you're welcome, Scott. Great to be on here. So we heard you and your colleagues used to work at Australia Zoo. So were you an environmental and animal rights campaigner before Bonner, or did Bonner make you so? <laughs> Uh, she certainly had a, a, a lot to do with it, but uh, conservation is very much the core of, uh, of Bruce, Amanda and I. Um, it, it's what, you know, sort of brought us together and it's certainly uh, Steve's legacy that brought us together in the first place at Australia Zoo. So, um, you know, effectively we've been carrying that on with the Bonner campaign and, uh, you know, it's just been incredible. So, you know, here we are today, we're on Australian Story tonight and it's certainly something that none of us would have imagined would have happened 12 months ago, that's for sure. How did it all unravel or come together, I should say, 12 months ago that here's this little elephant and you three yeah. come along as carers? Yeah, so uh, a couple of uh, colleagues uh, of mine at the time had been to Sumatra and had visited uh, the elephant conservation camp where Bonner was and they came back with photos of this rather sick, starving, uh, very malnourished uh, baby elephant and all it took was one look at those photos and we knew that we just had to do something so uh, we, we got together, banded together and created a, a Facebook page, um, a website. We went out to family and friends initially, it was around about Easter time and we asked for donations in lieu of Easter um, gifts and eggs and things. And from there it just really escalated. The, the interest in her story started to travel far and wide. We had a, a lot of uh, elephant lovers around the world who, who came on board offering advice um, and also offering assistance and support. So, uh, and it's just continued to this day, so it's been quite incredible. But uh, she was a very sick elephant when we first set eyes on her. And uh, it, when you saw the state of her, something just had to be done. And how is she now? Uh, she's fantastic. So, you know, we're nearly 12 months on. She, when we found her uh, initially, she was about 182 kilos um, and well underweight for an elephant of her age. Uh, now she's well over 300 kilos. So we must be doing something right. Um, we, uh, she's just her whole demeanour, her personality. Um, you know, she's, she's like a two-year-old child, so she can be a little bit pushy. She's, she throws the odd tantrum, and, um, which is great to see. You know, she, she really looks to the other elephants. There's some adult elephants at the camp that, um, that can teach her to be an elephant. So she, she's not so reliant on that human contact now. Well, she wouldn't be a two-year-old if she wasn't throwing tantrums, that's for sure. Now, putting all this <laughs> focus on one elephant, Murray, how does that help the broader issue of elephant survival, elephant numbers and habitat destruction? Yeah, look, it, a lot of people ask that question, why save one elephant? But, you know, her story is just such an incredible one of survival. Of It highlights a lot of issues that are facing not only Sumatran elephants, but a number of other species that, that um, live in the forest along with them. So it, it's, she's, she's effectively become an ambassador for her species. She can, you know, her story we want to tell 
um, and spread the word and, and take it as, as an educational thing around schools, both here in Australia and in Sumatra. Um, but it, it highlights, you know, particularly the palm oil issue. She was found alone in a palm oil plantation. Um, it's suspected that her mother and other family members were poisoned. Um, and that's not an isolated incident. It's happening quite regularly and every day. So, um, you know, it, it is a big issue. Habitat destruction is, is huge and um, it, it's happening every day in, in Indonesia and particularly in Sumatra. Murray Munro, one of the carers, saviours and good mates of Bonner the baby elephant, now a toddler. Thanks very much for sharing that story. Look forward to seeing more of the story tonight on Australian Story. Good on you. Thank, thank you, Scott.